Hello everybody and welcome to the second interview here at the Soft 99 launch in Berlin at the Classic Remise. Uh, what a lovely setting it is too. Um, we have got another man from Soft 99 and you are in fact based in Japan. That's right, I live in Osaka and I work in the headquarters of Soft 99. That's pretty cool. And um, could you just sort of introduce yourself and describe your role to the viewers? Yeah, my name's Paul Shelton. Uh, I'm originally from England, as you've probably realised. <laughs> uh, I moved to Osaka and I, I work in Soft99 as an overseas sales representative, but it, it's, a, it's a multifaceted role. So because my background is in chemistry, I not only coordinate with our clients and partners overseas, I also co coordinate with the R&D team in Japan to uh, well, make the best products possible for markets all over the world. <laughs> so you say, um, obviously, from England. Um, where did you go to school? Where did you grow up? Uh, I was born in South London, but I went to school in Northampton, mm -hmm. in the Midlands, and I went to university in Sheffield. And then after I finished university, I went over to Japan. And what was your degree in? In chemistry, in a master's. A master's in chemistry. So proper boffin is what I'm going to say here. Um, and um, you were describing today, uh, we've had all these presentations and we'll do some fancy pantsy cutscenes so you don't have to look at us all the interview. And um, you were describing how coatings work as opposed to how waxes work and stuff like that. And we have talked to uh, Damien, the, the CEO from the European side, about the differences between the old and the new Fusso. Um, and I would like to get your take on it from a chemistry point of view, bearing in mind that many of our watches are very into the detail in more ways than one. So you would like to hear the, the difference between the new and the old one, or just what makes Fusso code to PV? Um, I, I, oh gosh, a specific question. Um, let's go for the differences. Okay. So in the new uh, Fuso coat, we've take, taken a lot of feedback from our users uh, in Europe and around the world about uh, some of the aspects of Fuso coat which they found unusual. I mean, it's an unusual product from Japan, and uh, obviously there's no complaints about the durability or the, the beading and so on. But a lot of people mention the smell, and uh, we revised the formula uh, to use a. a a blend of solvents which is not only uh, better for the environment, it's also safer for human health as well and at the same time we've been able to reduce some of that solvent smell. And I mean what was really interesting when we talked to <coughs> Angel Wax about waxes, I presume that colours and smells made no difference to the performance of the wax but uh, John Hogg who's their chemist uh, was actually saying um, no they can do, if, if you do it wrong you can actually destroy a wax or, or compromise a wax should we say by putting things in. Have you put any artificial scents or colours in or have you simply reduced the impact of the aromatic solvent or whatever may be in there? Well yeah that's a very good point actually and uh, obviously uh, at the moment in, in the European market uh, special colours and smells are kind of in, right? They're very trendy. And so I talked about this with our R&D team and uh, we found that because of the highly specialised nature of the actual active ingredient of Fusso Coat, it's really not feasible to be including any unnecessary colours or, or uh, smells. So we haven't included any aromas or anything. We've just worked on uh, minimising the, the volatile smell of the solvents. I understand. And um, you were mentioning, was it a fluorofluorine, something like that? That sounds like that's a, a, a clever piece of kit inside. Fluoropolymer? Fluoropolymer, that's, that's pretty much it, yeah. Um, what is it and how does it work? <laughs> We just got honked. <laughs> uh, fluoropolymer uh, essentially is it's like Teflon. Teflon is the most famous fluoropolymer. It's also known as PTFE, polytetrafluoroethylene. And this a PTFE is the most slippery solid substance known to man, which means it has some pretty special properties, which sounds really cool if you have it on your car and if nothing sticks to it, right? Unfortunately, with PTFE, because nothing sticks to it, you can't just stick it on your car anyway. So we had to create a formula that allows us to use the special properties of PTFE, but also to keep it adhered to the vehicle's surface for a long time. And that's what we call Fusso technology. I see what you mean. Um, and tell me, uh, we were mentioning in the presentation that Soft 99, as we say it here, in Japanese, the 99 is pronounced different, isn't it? Yes, QQ. So it's Soft QQ in Japan. Or is it, what the, how, how, how's, how's it? Soft QQ. Soft QQ. Soft QQ. 
Interesting, interesting. Little facts, of course, for down the pub with your detailing chums. <laughs> um, well, anyway, um, and apart from that, we've obviously got the new coatings and stuff, which we've talked at length in a previous interview, so uh, I'll let them lie. Um, and in terms of what makes Fusso Fusso, we've already identified the PTFE element. Other waxes do have PTFE. The Swiss Fact Shield and stuff like that has PTFE in. Is yours in a different format, or is it blended differently? Or that's right, uh, and it, 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 like I was saying, as, as I said earlier, uh, just including PTFE in the wax doesn't necessarily mean that you'll get all of the best properties from it, uh, or even if you do, it's not going to necessarily have great durability because it's so good at not falling off things. Yes. So when we developed Fusso technology, it's not just PTFE, it's uh, our specially designed fluoropolymers that one part of it it contains the properties of the Teflon, so mm -hmm. nothing sticks, and the other part of it does stick. And when you apply, it has a chemical reaction where the part that does stick is sticking to the paint surface, is sticking to the other wax molecules around it, is sticking to the other fluoropollen molecules around it, and that creates a superstructure that contains the wax inside and mm -hmm. locks it in onto the paint. So that's, uh, by the sounds of it, kind of similar in terms of surfactants, how you have a, a, an ionic surfactants and stuff where you've got a, a positive and a negative side to it, um, and it's designed to stick to different things. I'm completely out of my depth here, as you can probably tell. In a sense, yeah. In more, a sense. more permanent. More permanent, yeah. With, the, with a surfactant, like a detergent, uh, the part that is attracted to the oil will attach to the dirt, and the part that's attracted to the water can be washed away by the water, and that's how you get rid of the dirt. With our part, we've got one part which is reactive and one part which is completely unreactive. Mm -hmm. So once it attaches, the other part cannot be washed off. That's and that's right. what makes for so coat so resistant to detergents. Brilliant. Okay, Koki. Well, I think we'll wrap it up there before my brain explodes. And it is still very late tonight. Um, but thank you so much for your time. Thanks very for coming. Well, thank you for inviting us. And uh, I'm sure we'll be doing some more videos. We mentioned potentially going off to Poland in the future uh, to visit the European side. And obviously we have pipe dreams. We can go to the home of Fuso, the home of Subaru. We're, we're waiting. <laughs> Happy days. Time. All right. Thank you. Thanks.